welcome to today's video, and in today's video, I'll be doing a 2024 election election between Nikki Haley and Kamala Harris. I think we've already done one of these, um, a while ago, so this is a newer one. Also, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to do this quickly, um, and I'm also gonna try to be quiet unless my family's asleep, and I don't wanna be too loud, or I think they're asleep, they're in bed at least, and I don't wanna be too loud while recording. Um... Harris has likely said she gets New Mexico, Nebraska second, Minnesota, Maine at large, New Hampshire maybe, it's debatable, um, and Virginia, whereas Haley gets Nebraska's first, Kansas, Mississippi, Missouri, Indiana, South Carolina, and Alaska. In New Mexico, Harris is well known for the Hispanic and Latino voters, and they both struggle enough for oil workers to the point where it's not going to be a detrimental negative for either candidate, really. Um, maybe Haley, just because it voted for Trump, by, um, or voted for Biden by such a large margin, even though Trump, I would assume, would do better with oil workers. Virginia, I think Harris is well enough to black vote, and it's well enough in D.C. suburbs. I think Haley does decent in D.C. suburbs, but really struggles with white rural voters. New Hampshire, I think Harris is well enough with white rural college educated voters. Um, Maine at large, um, Harris is well enough for the white rural college educated voters. Minnesota, I think Harris is well enough for Minneapolis and the suburbs. Haley struggles enough with white rural voters, and Haley loses enough ground with the white working class. Though to be fair, I think they would both. I think they would both definitely struggle. So Harris doesn't necessarily lose ground, but I mean, like Haley has a lot of ground to lose. I think there's um definitely a long like just from Trump. Obviously, I think there's a lot. There's a long way to fall from where Trump was um, with the white working class. By the way, I think they're probably both going to struggle with the white working class. Nebraska's first. Haley does, um, or struggles enough with white rural voters, and Harris shifts the, shifts the suburbs enough. By the way, Nebraska's first could be lame. Kansas, Haley struggles, not, struggles enough with white rural voters. Missouri, Haley struggles enough with white rural voters. Harris is well enough in Kansas City and St. Louis. Mississippi, Haley struggles enough with white rural voters. Harris is well enough with black voters. South Carolina, Haley struggles enough with white rural voters. Harris is well enough with black voters. Indiana, I think that Harris is well enough in Indianapolis, and she does well enough with the black vote in Gary. Um, whereas Haley struggles with white rural voters, Harris shifts the suburbs enough to the left as well. Um, Alaska, I mean, with the white working class in Indiana, I think it'll be very similar to um, the white working class in Min or Minnesota. Um, I think a lot of the white working class will tend to be, I think it'll probably hurt Haley, but they're both weak, but Haley just has a lot of room to fall, um, just from Trump's performance, with the, or from Trump's strength with the white working class, at least I think that Haley has a lot, like, there's, there's a lot, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot for Haley to lose. In Alaska, I think um, we see more and more Native American voters turning out and shifting it to the left regardless. But I think that um, Harris is a man candidate for Native American voters, and they both probably struggle with oil workers. Probably ends up being a net negative, though, for Haley. Um, for the Democrat, or for Harris's lean states, Nevada, Wisconsin, Michigan... Pennsylvania and Georgia, Nevada. I think that Haley struggles enough with white rural voters. Harris is well enough with Hispanic and Latino voters. Across Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin voting farthest to the right, Michigan voting farthest to the left, Pennsylvania voting in the middle. I think that um, Harris is well enough with black voters and is well enough in the suburbs. The loss with the white working class um, with Haley is or probably at the end at the end of the day benefits Harris and Haley struggles enough with white rural voters that Harris carries them lean. Georgia, I think that Haley struggles with white rural voters. Harris is one of the black vote. I could realistically see it being likely, but I think I, I, I could realistically see it, but I do think it is not necessarily the most likely scenario. Um obviously I think that it it's definitely within the realm of possibility. But I wouldn't say it's necessary. So obviously, um, it's it's definitely possible, and it's 
I don't, I don't, I said realistic. I, I want to say it's within the realm of possibility. I don't think it's necessarily, I think I said something about realistic. I don't think it's necessarily the most realistic scenario, though, but I do think it is definitely possible for Haley's lean state. She gets Texas, Iowa, Ohio, Maine second, and Florida, Texas. She struggles enough with white rural voters. Harris is well enough with suburban. I to want to spend on Latino voters. Iowa, Haley struggles enough with white rural voters. The Obama to Trump vote split. Um, or splits more evenly, which I think probably ends up being a net negative for Haley. Ohio, I think that Haley struggles enough with white rural voters, the white working class. Her doing not as well as Trump probably hurts her. Harris is well enough with the black vote and is well enough in the suburbs. Maine second, I think Haley has more populist appeal probably than Harris. And I mean, like, given how it voted, I wasn't necessarily entirely factoring that in. I sort of. I, I think that given how it's voted recently, it is kind of hard to see it voting for a Democrat. Florida, I think that Haley does well enough with older white voters and West Suburbanites, and she does well enough with Hispanic and Latino voters. For the final tilt states, Harris gets North Carolina, Haley gets Arizona, so those are, I believe, two flips. North Carolina, I think that Harris does well enough with black voters. Haley struggles enough with white rural voters. Harris also does well enough um, with Suburbanites, I think, and the white working class once again. Um, so I've said something like this where it splits and it ends up being a net negative um, for Haley. In Arizona, I think that Harris, or I think that Haley does well enough traditionally conservative suburbanites that she does end up carrying it. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like below so you can get my next video. Or subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please comment your suggestions down below. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye.